Hello and welcome to Beardicus Plays. My name is Beardicus, and today I'm playing Shantae, Half Genie Hero. This game just came out today. Oh wow, I've already got the credits. Check it out, I already, I already finished. Oh, that was a fast game, huh? 30 seconds. Oh, oh. I can't skip it, can I? Well, was the joke worth it? Yes. Yes, it was. I'll be right back. So, this game... Yes, that game uh, just came out uh, today, or yesterday, or some... on December 20th. Um, it was a Kickstarter game. Oh yeah, I forgot you get there are other characters in this game. So this is obviously risky boots. And that looks like somebody else. Possibly Sky or Rody Rody Tops. But I don't have much of a choice here, so. Um So this game was a Kickstarter game. And uh, backers for the Kickstarter have had access to this game for like a, um, uh, a week. And that includes me. But I didn't know about that because I was a slacker backer. Which means after the campaign ended was when I, uh, was when I gave them money. So my email wasn't connected to Kickstarter. And, uh, that meant that I had to... I'm losing my train of thought. I had to basically read that it, the keys were out by myself because I didn't get an email update about it. Um, what else? So I, I just found out that I had the key for about a week. I just found out about that yesterday. Uh, in fact, I didn't even know the game was coming out until yesterday. What? Did she, she did that weird... What? What's, she's doing a weird animation. You see that? Huh. Anyway. Um, so I just found out that it was coming out today, yesterday. Um, 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 and then the, um, uh, I, yeah, it's gone. Trina thought it's gone. So this is the fourth game in the Shantae series. Um, half genie hero. Because she is a hero who is half genie. That's where the name comes from. And, um, what the? I don't think I did that. Um. So it's... Okay, it's the fire. Um. So, the Shantae series is a fun series with great music. Like, this series is just the best music. <clears throat> and, um. So much so that I had to alter my usual setup so that I could hear it even with the TV muted. What is this place? Does Uncle even know it's down here? Oh, there goes that voice again. Welcome, daughter of the genies. Who who said that? Wherever you are, you'd better come out right now. It's a sparkly! A messenger from the genie realm. I've summoned you. It's warning you of a great danger. An agent of darkness will strike at the heart of our world. Corrupts our magic. Use it for its own selfish gain. Um, who wants to bet that this agent of darkness is actually Mr. Sparkly over here? Or Miss. Okay, I'm not... I'm not going to assume, but... Maybe it. I'm not really sure. Uh, this agent of darkness reigns supreme over both worlds, and no one will escape its wrath. That sounds serious. How do we stop it? Uh, only you have the power to do that. 
me, but how? Uh, follow your heart, as you always have. Well, then can you save both of us? Wait, don't go. What about my mother? Is she there with you? Oh, okay. It's I guess I guess Spar Sparkly could also be her mother. So in the uh, in the previous games, Shante is usually up against the pirate Risky Boots, who is evil. Oh, that looks like a save guy, only fatter. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, so she's usually up against her nemesis, Risky Boots, but in the third game she never magic, so she had to become a pirate, and she had to team up with Risky Boots, so. No more comic books in bed from now on. That, that's good advice. Um, not, not specific to comic books, but if you do things in bed, it, it can make it harder to sleep. It has nothing to do with what's going on here, but just in general. A whole tub of cookie dough ice cream probably didn't help much either. Uh, eating a whole tub of any kind of ice cream is never a good thing to do. Okay, uh, workshop needy in gizmos. Can I talk to these people? Yes, this is the item shop if you enjoy customizing your abilities. <laughs> Wait. Is there, is this like a mini game? I don't know. I don't, I don't have any dance power-ups yet. But this game certainly did not disappoint in the uh, music department, which is awesome. I had the weirdest dream. You can tell me all about it, but first, give me a hand, will you? Sure, is something, just a uh, mechanical part, arrived, sent, uh, Bolo, okay, Bolo is one of, like, the two main characters who's actually male, and he is kind of an idiot. Uh, but he's, he's, he's a friendly guy. Always his head in the clouds. Always his head in the clouds, that boy. Uh, would you mind picking up that part for me? Sure thing. Oh. Uh, in the item shop. Can I? Okay. So that's the main attack, by the way. Hair whip. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Anything else of interest to bring up? Not really. Okay, it looks like the art gallery is closed right now. No relaxing visuals for this guy. wonder if that's going to be a collectible thing. Are you a Medusa? Mom always tells me to avert my eyes when you walk by. <laughs> this game has quite the sense of humor. I like it. Ah, the cool ocean breeze feels amazing, but I think we're in for another hot one. Good morning, Sky. Have you seen Bolo? Bathhouse. Uh. <clears throat> Is this town a big circle? Like it was in the first game? It looks like it. So if that's the. Nope, nope. It's not. It's just curved. Oh, speaking of. Sort of. Speaking of. Anyway. Um. This game has a different art style from the other games, which were obviously the first game was on the Game Boy, so it was, you know, Game Boy graphics. But, uh... It's a weird picture. Or portrait. <coughs> but, uh... Risky's Revenge and Pirate's Curse, I think was the third game's name, were both pixelated, and this one's very not that we're doing the bathhouse. Bathroom angel. I can't look away. Never mind, I'll talk to her. Okay, so that's the other thing about him. He's kind of an idiot, and he's a uh, hopeless romantic. Going to the bathhouse, a place where you can rejuvenate your body, tranquil sounds, sense of hardcore, white knuckle, full throttle, max relaxation. Normally I'd offer you advice about your quest, but right now I'm trying to figure where this receipt came from. Whoever delivered that drooling buffoon statue over there must have dropped it. Anyway, if you're heading to the shop next door, please take the receipt with you. Cool. And remember, if you ever lose your way, come see me for a free hint. Okay, well that's different. In the last game, in the last game, the woman in the bathhouse just said, Hey, this is a bathhouse. So, 
It's good to see she's branching out. Saves your progress is over by the town gate. That's good advice to know. Oh, I see. I'm starting with two hearts in this game. I didn't even notice that. Minutes. Oh, you're picking up your for your uncle. Oh, whoops. Kidoki, let's see here. Uh, hey, a magnet. In case you couldn't read. That's what it was. It was a magnet. Uh, I don't have any money, so I can't buy anything. You can press plus. Uh, check subscreen, treasures and whatnot. I'm a guard. Thanks for that information. Okay. So this is kind of a slow episode because it's, you know, the start. Right, okay. Uh, workshop. Forgot where I was going for a second there. Oh, I didn't even notice the, uh, the planet mobile thingy up there spinning. This game has very nice animations. It's very smooth. My magnet has finally arrived. Let's show off my latest invention. It's a podium that has a magnet on it. Oh, what is it? Something to help you defend the town. I call it the Dynamo. Dynamiao? Dynamo is a contraption from the old world that I'm attempting to piece back together. The magnet you brought me goes right here. Uh, once completed, the machine will generate enough electricity to light up Scuttletown day and night. Just wait every monster and pirate within a 10 mile radius. Scuttletown will be safe and sound, and you get to relax for a change. Because she's, she's not just a genie, she's the town's guardian genie, so she has to, like, guardian aid. Or whatever. I guess guard is the actual word you would use, but whatever. Still a few missing components, but I'm getting close. Next, I need to add, uh, let's see. Where are my dynamo blueprints? I had them last night, but now they're gone. Did you try looking in the basement? Basement? My workshop doesn't have a basement. Oh, but there's a trap door in the... Uh, what was that guy called? He's like a, he's like a tinker toy or something. I don't know. It was something like that. A tinker... Tinker... I can't remember. Ah! A tinker bat. That was it. A filthy pirate just ran off with my blueprints. Ah, uh, don't worry, Uncle. I'll... That's probably fine. The boys came from Main Street? I've gotta go. Uh, you'll need a ride. Head this guy's hatchery. Quick. Oh, well, it's... Nice that I'm getting, like, a tour of the entire town. It's, uh... It's this guy. Sky! I heard it. Main Street is under attack. Oh, did you see that last portrait? I think that was the... The one from the character select screen. I'll give you a ride, but none of my birds is big and... Did it say none of... No. That is, unless... Unless what? Wrench, I need you. Ready to show Shantae our newest trick? <laughs> Mega Wrench Metamorphosis? I didn't know birds could do that! Okay, a whistle. I assume that's gonna be like to call the bird. Just get on already. Eek! Rugs, wrench can stay this size for several seconds. Seconds? Nah, yeah, just choose a location and we'll drop you off. Uh, so I have to go to... What are those? Okay, so there are three things to get here, and there are five things to get here. Okay, that's good to know. Yes, let's go to Main Street. Oh, another free save. I wonder how often I'm going to get to do that, because that's, uh, that's convenient. But it's probably only going to be during story segments. This is your sap. Now, about the bird whistle. I've added it to your subscreen. Whoa, this is a new subscreen. Summon wrench. Okay, I, I know what it is. All the items you collect can be found there. If you ever need a lift, I'll blow that whistle. Got it? 
You bet. Now watch as I give those pirates a taste of my silky split ends of justice. Uh, just go. I won't let you down. I won't let you down either. No, I mean it literally. I'm not letting you down. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah. Uh, funny stuff. Okay. I gotta remember the controls really quickly. Okay, that's not gonna help me. So jump, do that, dance, and A is probably items. Oh, goodness. Oh. Yeah. Well, this is... Ow, what? Ow! Stop! Wait, wait. Okay, I see how this works now. Do I have to hit it? Yes, the answer is yes. And I only took like five damage. This is a really catchy song. Yeah! Okay, okay, I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, 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 there's water over here. I thought I died. Um, I'm not going for like a no death run or anything, I just... I just don't want to die on the first level. It, it is hard to, it is hard to concentrate with uh, music like this playing though with words can I push this okay. okay there we go um. yeah I don't think I can get over there though unless yeah no I can't okay well at least I, I killed that guy. That's that's all that matters. Um, so this is this is like the theme song of this game, I guess. Um, I I mean, yeah. I hope I hope you don't hear it too often though, because. I cannot concentrate at all while I'm hearing it. It's very, it's kind of distracting. Um, I mean, it's not a bad song. I don't think any songs in this entire game are going to be bad. Just distracting. Why am I going up there? I can just jump up that. I have a tendency to overthink some things occasionally. Um, I, I, how long is this level going to be? Because I thought this was just going to be like a tutorial level. It's going to be like a short little stroll and then a, a boss battle. I'm still pretty convinced that this is going to end in a boss battle. I just. It's just going to build longer than I was expecting. Okay, the song is over. I guess I could have waited like an extra second and let the uh, song actually end, but we got most of it. Oh, this is. I like this. Uh, this uh, red look. Okay. Timing is among my best of skills. By which I mean that I'm bad at it, but. Oh! Hey, cut that out. Don't, don't show that. It's embarrassing. Um. Oh, there we go. Wait a second. Oh, okay. What is that? Oh, I thought... 
the uh, the pinks and stuff kind of blended together a little bit there. I thought she was. I thought that person was like a sausage or something. Um, it looks like I can't get up there just yet, though. So that's probably she'll be important later, I guess. Um. Ow, jerk. Ow, jerk. All these pirates are just a bunch of jerks. Ow. Wait. Secret senses are failing me. There's nothing over there. Um... There were five things to find in this level, right? But this is this is the kind of game where uh, you can't find everything right away. You gotta like progress a bit, get a few upgrades, and then you can start finding everything. I saw enemies down here. I thought I did at least. Ah, yeah, there they are. I want to get lots of uh, gems so that I can buy upgrades and uh, be ah okay I'm good okay I made it I don't have like a double jump do I do I I don't have any magic yet right yeah Um, so I assume that green bar over there is magic, so even though I don't, ow, even though I don't think I can use any magic, I still have a magic meter. So, at least by the looks of it I do. What is that? Is it nothing? It looks like nothing. Can I dance on it? I mean, I can, but it doesn't look like it does anything. Okay. I don't think fire does this, by the way. I don't think that's... I don't think that's accurate to how fire works. But, I, I don't know. I'm not a fireologist. I could be wrong. Is this going to happen after every level? Because... It doesn't need to. Like, it's convenient to have auto, uh, like free saves occasionally, but... After every level is a little much. Uh, which means the person behind this attack must be... I... I, I couldn't... I, I tried to think of something to say there. Yeah, literally anybody. I could have said literally anybody, and I couldn't come up with anything. So these are Risky Boots. She's a pirate. And you'll notice her uh, clothes resemble a skull... And that's because it's what it is. It's a skull of her old pirate captain. Uh, I'm not sure if he had a name, but he wasn't a nice guy. And when he died, she took her, she took his skull and made it into whatever you would call that outfit. Uh, call me Queen of the Seven Seas, if you please. Uh, back to your old tricks, I see. You don't sound happy to see me. No matter, I have what I came for. Looking for this? The blueprints? If it's not the blueprints, then... Okay, yeah. Uh, Dim-witted relic hunting uncles always unearthing valuables from the Lost Age. And whatever secrets this blueprint contains, I want them. Let's can I claim my rightful place as ruler over all of Sequin Land. Sequin Land. Se You're gonna realize that I'm not good at pronouncing some words. So the might of my part omni or uh, organic partially titanic ocean optional tinker slug okay omni it's part omni organic i'm not sure what that means because omni would mean all but it's only part so it's part all organic so only part of it is organic i guess it's partially titanic, which also doesn't make sense because titanic would be means large, so it's only medium-sized, I guess. 
Ocean optional makes sense. That means it works on land. And the Tinker Slug. Um, I think is a pun on the old ship name, which might be... There I go overthinking things again. It was just an immature, <laughs> immature uh, acronym joke. The poop dude. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's give that brat a proper workout. The Tinker Slug. Don't call it the poop dude. I'll try my hardest. Okay, I got hit. Oh, chains! A bell! Bombs! I'm figuring things out. Let's do that. Yeah! And then we'll hit him! Yes! Oh. Ow! There we go. Not sure if I have to wait to uh, hit it again or if I have to hit it multiple times now. I like how uh, Risky has like full voice acting right now. Well, I guess it's not full voice acting, but she's like calling her attacks. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, she's shooting me! Fire the something cannons. I don't know uh, nautical terminology. Like I said, I'm not a boatologist, but. Did I say that? I don't remember what I said. But anyway, I'm not a boatologist, so I don't know nautical terms. Also, I don't think Risky Boots is going to be the final boss of this game. So the blueprints, Risky Boots, so I've managed to get the upper hand again! Or is this like the third ship I've destroyed? But you're only postponing my inevitable victory. Yay! Another time, runt. I think she, uh, she voiced those lines better than I could. Hey, how'd you, how do you like that? I actually beat her right away for a change. I'd better get these blueprints back to Uncle. That's not true, and, uh... I don't remember how the first game started, but I'm pretty sure the second... I'm pretty sure both the first and second games ended exactly the same way, with... A little tutorial level that ended with a boss fight of Risky Boots. Nice. But I didn't find any secrets, so... I'm gonna have to go back eventually. Whoa. The Genie Realm. Take this transformation and enter the light. Uh, monkey. It's gonna be the monkey transformation. Yep. That lets me climb on walls. Okay, well, it's a lot faster than it used to be. Like, in the first game, you had to remember combinations of dances. In the second game, you had to time it. Third game, you didn't, you didn't transform because she wasn't magic anymore. But in this game, it's, uh... I like it. I like it the most in this game. It's a lot easier. Although, I guess there are going to be fewer transformations. Or dances, rather. Although, four. There were only three in the second game, so there are actually more. Um, okay, well, um, with that said, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So, if you want to subscribe, you can click the little circle bubble thingy. If you want to watch other episodes, you can click the little square box thingies. And uh, when the second episode of this is out, uh, it'll be included here too. But until then, thank you so much for watching, have a nice day, and goodbye.